hi guys you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome thank you all for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel may god bless you all today we are coming to learn how to cut and sew this long dress or gown with a front zip so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into this so we are cutting the flare at the bottom part first before we cut the upper part of the dress my table is not big enough so we we'll use the floor You divide the waist you are working with into four. So the waist I'm working with is 44. I've added one inch sewing allowance. So we'll now cut the length. I want the length to be 42. So exactly 42. Then you go around at where you've marked. Then you go around. Look at the TV. So forty two, then you go round. You go round like this. Then you connect your lines. Play scissors. So we are cutting. Is it coming? Yes. So we are cutting the waist. The dress, the length of the dress is 60 inches and the person's with, uh, shoulder to waist is 20. She's very plasty. So I added two inches sewing allowance a day where eh be eke ewo you can't get it so we have to can you see here is yes. it coming in so join this side of the flare then after that we cut uh, the upper part of the brace some people were asking they didn't see the way i folded the flare that's why i'm making this video so that those of you who didn't see the way i folded the flare so that you can see that the chalk a piece oh, my leg go thank you so you notch the center like this then you put it on it you secure it with paints before you cut everything <laughs> so after that good idea. I cut so you feel the one under so you just use your fingers to feel it then you connect the lines like this then you cut so 
So now we finish with the flare. So this is how it will look. So this is it. So we'll now cut the upper part of the flare. So we are now coming to cut the upper part of the dress. So this is the sleeve. The measurement I'm working with the around ham is 20 inches. So I will divide it into two and add one inch sewing allowance. And the length of the sleeve is 15 inches. So I folded it into four. Then I've added my lining. So I'm cutting. So now our basic sleeve is ready so this is the sleeve and this is the pocket i cut it off camera so we finish with differently let's do the back first so that we won't be we won't make mistake where is my store across back is 20 like this then shoulder to chest line is nine inches so we move the line like this then we use a curve ruler to curve it like so then we shape it so now we'll make our that the that the interval will be nine inches so nine divided by two is four and a half then we we'll put in our that intake is two inches so the waist is 44 the that's two inches then we'll use the two inches for the sewing allowance so everything is perfect now the neck width will be four inches the depth will be two so connect it like so then we shot the shoulder you slant the shoulder by one inch so this is it the back is ready so we are now coming to cut So this is it so you notch your that so this is the that so the zip will be in front so the back is ready now we are on the front so we we'll do the same thing we'll mark our zip line one inch so this is the line I will the zip line then the shoulder is 10 inch inches then you come down nine your chest line connect the chest line then we use our curve ruler to connect it like this Then we come down one inch where we slant the shoulder. Sorry. Then the neck width is four inches. The depth will be three inches because there will be zip. The person will open the zip. If you want to show a little cleavage, then you open the zip down. So this is it. So we we'll divide. Now we have the chest line, you divide it, we have it, we divide it into two, so eight inches. Then from shoulder to the, shoulder to nipple is 13. 
then shoulder to under bust is 17 and a half so the dart will be 10 inches the nipple to nipple and here will be nine so let me do the line so that we can see what i'm doing so here will be four and a half then you connect the line so nipple to nipple is 10 inches and from the shoulder to the nipple is 30 shoulder to the underbass is 17 and a half then shoulder to waist is 20. so the dart intake will be two and a half because i want the cap to be fuller so this is it then we connect it to where we divide i hope you can see where we divided the shoulder so then you go in by you go in by one inch like this like this so this is how it will look so let's cut it okay let's put in the measurements the bust the waist is 44 the dart is two and a half then sewing allowance will be two and a half so let's roll the line like this before i cut this is how i cut mine so everything is double with the line So this is it. So look at it properly the way I'm cutting it. So this is it. like this so everything is intact so when you join it this is how it will look so this is the zipper line in front so this is it so let's go and start joining our pieces together so i'll join everything you know the process i'll join lining separate fabric separate both the front and the back then i'll join the flare with it so let's go and join it so now i have finished joining everything together so we are now coming to shape the upper part of the dress so the waist is 44 so divided by 2 is 22 so divided by 4 11 so you divide it like this you make sure you use where the pin is to guide you so that you get the lines you won't get any crooked something and the bath is 49 so this is the first 49 so Move the line. Let me make sure I'm making everything correct. 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 Mm -hmm. So now we have our shape. So this is that. So the top is ready. We'll now shape the sleeves. You use your clients around him to shape it. My clients around him is 20. So you do 20, then you shut the bottom part. So I did the bottom part 18. So 9. Then you roll your line. 
like this. So I'm taking it to the machine so we can leave it for us to see. So this is the uh, zip that will fix in front and this is the sleeves. I've done it off camera so I'm cutting the handhold so that I can fix my sleeve. I'm trimming the excess lining on the sleeves. So I'm now coming to cut this armhole. So this is the armhole. My client's around ham is 20. The ham is fake. So you have to make sure everything is so we shot the front the reason why we shot the front is because of our breast if you don't shut it and you fix the sleeve you can see some people when they are wearing dresses there will be some bulkiness in their armpit that's what causes it so it will fit the armhole perfectly so i'll fix it and fix the zip then i'll come and show you us the finished look so this is the finished look of the dress there is a slit in front and there's a zipper so this is it so thank you for watching see you in my next one Bye bye